Hey there everyone, it's Kelly with kellyscards.ca and welcome to this Simon Says haul video. So this has finally come. I'm not sure where it was in the mail for a while, but I kind of expected it at least a week ago, but it is finally here. So to get started, I got two of these. These are the Tim Holtz mini distress storage tins. And what I love about this is with these storage tins, this little piece comes out. So if I wanted to store other companies, say like Memento in here, or even other craft things, this is just great. And because I have so many of these, I can stack them up. There are so many companies that have these little mini inks that fit in here, and I really like it. So I got a couple of those. And then I also got from my favorite things this stencil here. Now this is the basic shapes circles and what I intended to do with this was kind of like a bokeh type technique. Now I did make one out of scrap paper with my dies but I really felt like a stencil would maybe go on better so I got this one there. And then also from my favorite things, here is the dynamics of happy birthday. And this one is called block happy birthday, as you see there. And I just like the size of this. And there's so many things you can do with basically dies like this. You can make the window type thing where you can see in behind. You can die cut and lay back the pieces in the middle. And that will look really cool as well as just the regular dyed sentiment. So I love that one there. And then from Birch Press Designs, I got this one here, and this is the U. Now this is the big U set, and this one also has basically the shadow portion here. And what I love about this is, let's say you have a very busy background and you wanna have a white sentiment. Now you can basically have a shadow of another color just to help it stand out a little bit better from the rest of the card. So I got that one there, and then also from Birch Press, I also got this hugs and I really like the font and basically the simpleness of this die. And this one here is the hugs sugar script and I like that it also goes with some of their stamp sets as well. So I got that one there and then I really really like this one here. This is the sugar pea designs. Really love the sentiments here. So you get sending and it will go with get well wishes sunshine, happy thoughts, happy mail, birthday wishes, lots of love, a note of thanks, smiles, a happy hello, hugs and kisses, many, my thanks, Christmas cheer, and congratulations. So there's quite a variety of stamps that go with the sending and then they also have a die to cut out all of these sentiments. The next one I got is from Hero Arts and this is a, the stencil I've been pretty much waiting for for a while. Very excited about this one. This one here is the Glorious Petal stencil, as you see there. It's very hard to see. It's such small little print, but look how pretty that stencil is. I've seen quite a lot of cards done with this one with distress inks in that, so I really can't wait to start using that one. So that one also came. And then this is the last one I got. This is the Hero Arts Vintage Ombre Ink and they were basically clearing this out. Now this is a pigment ink and it goes black, kind of charcoal, and then to this lighter gray silver. So I grabbed that. Just want to mention this coupon code here from Simon Says Stamp. If you use this code here, SVE954, and it's valid till August 31st of this year 2018 and you'll save five dollars off so I really like those coupon codes again because they help pay most of the shipping. So that was my haul from Simon Says Stamp. I can't wait to use some of these items again. This stencil, very excited about this stamp set and of course the dies. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. You can check me out on my website at kellyscards.ca. You can subscribe for more videos and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.